I was talking to someone on a train recently who was telling me that Damn. this is their favourite band and I was thinking, I haven't really listened to them enough. I know that they were really popular maybe like 10 years ago and they've had a massive resurgence recently because their songs have gone viral on TikTok. I know the lead singer is dating Billie Eilish and I have heard this song but I can't quite remember. So I'm going to give it a proper listen. He's going to be shocked and horrified if he watches this. <laughs> if you're interested to hear what I sound like when I sing, I have recently done a cover of Wicked Game by Chris Isaac and it is here on YouTube as well as on Spotify and on Apple and I'd love it if you would take a listen and let me know what you think. Uh, uh. Hmm. Well, all I I love his vibrato. You know what, it's interesting because we were talking about different voices and um, voices that people really love and I was saying that there's a, a difference in what our favourite singers are. So there are singers that I see as like amazing vocalists, people like Jennifer Hudson who is incredible and then people that I love for their connection to emotion like Chester Bennington or Kurt Cobain and uh, I love people like Chris Cornell because he kind of spans both sides or Jeff Buckley. I kind of find it interesting that he is put in the category of like the Chris Cornell sort of gruffness and not being a vocalist because he actually is like his pitching is great he's doing really interesting things with his vibrato not that like other singers aren't but it is like all about emotion but he's you know he's Towing that line really, really well. It feels emotional, it feels gritty, it feels emotionally connected, but it also feels technically proficient to me. So me oh, 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 and he's got an interesting voice. Then I watch your face, put my finger on your tongue cause you love the taste With these hearts adore, everyone that ever beats hard is for Inside this place is warm, outside is stars and cold Coming down, one love, two miles, one love, one else There's no shirt, no blouse, she's us, you find out Nothing that we don't want to tell you about, no It's interesting on like, on these long, long phrases. So instead of cold, he's not maintaining that vowel. He's like morphing those vowels throughout cold. And that's something that's really interesting that you can play around with and really makes people's voice distinct how they use vowels. Billie Eilish is another person who uses her vowels in very bizarre ways and it really, really works. And, um, you know, the, the right way of singing or the technically correct way of singing is to maintain your vowel the whole way through. Um, it doesn't have to be that way, it, especially if it isn't going to affect the stability of your voice. If it affects the stability of your voice, then, you know, I think often it's better to go to the technically correct way if that's going to help you maintain the stability and keep pitch and things like that but if you've got that and you can you can play around then play around do whatever the hell you like <laughs>
didn't expect it to go there. I like this kind of drop beat thing. And then like the London Grammar, Chris Isaac guitar. Actually, they were probably before London Grammar. You know what's also really nice to hear people embracing um, their natural voices so um, often a lot of guys feel like they have to sing in the lower part of their range and make it quite heavy but singing in a kind of twang twangy higher part of his voice makes his voice so distinct and really cool with that big wobbly vibrato I love it. Well, I'm really glad that I gave them a proper lesson. Thank you, Corey. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.